Good afternoon. I'm Sandy Stimson, Mayor of the City of Mobile. It's Wednesday afternoon, April 29th. To give you an update on what's been going on, everybody's focus has been on the governor's order issued yesterday. A lot of conversation created by it. There are some people who are very happy about it. There are some people who are very saddened by it. You know, from the feedback that we're getting, uh, our restaurant owners and those working in restaurants, you know, seem to be uh, very distressed by it, concerned about how they'll make it through the next couple of weeks, as are our cosmetologists and barbershops. You know, my hope is, is that, um, that the governor now, that she's been able to address some of the other issues and some of the other uh, groups that needed to be uh, given the ability to go back to work, that she can now focus on those two groups. Uh, we know you need the relief. I mean, we've been, in, as you know, we've been in contact with you. We've heard your stories. And so we've also carried your message to the governor's office. We feel like that you're doing the same thing through your trade associations. Uh, but also it helps for individuals to reach out to the governor's office because they do need to understand, you know, your plight and your sp special story because there are so many uh, heart-rending stories about things that you've done to get to this point in time and how you're genuinely concerned about being able to make it another day, you know, another 10 days. So my encouragement is to continue to work together. We know that many of you have uh, excellent plans to roll out, to open up, and just know that we're going to continue to amplify your voice to the degree that we can. And I can say that it's not just Mayor Stimson that feels that way. The mayors of the other large cities, we, we, the 10 large cities, we talk regularly. And we know across the state that it's the same story. Each city may be a little bit different, but we're all going to do the things that we can to help you. <clears throat> On another note, uh, there's a lot of concern about testing. You know, when will we have enough testing? And it's hard to answer that question, but I had a phone call from Brian Ward, the owner of Docs RX, the other day, and he's purchased a thermal fisher machine. He'll have the testing cap capability, the same as Synergy Labs. It may be a possibility that they figure out how do they complement one another, which would be really good. Because Synergy's been a godsend to our city because of the number of tests that they're running and that they will continue to run and how they've collaborated with the hospitals to make sure that those who are symptomatic are getting tested. That's being broadened just a little bit. The, um, the threshold for being tested is not quite as difficult as it was five weeks ago when you had to have be symptomatic and you had to have some underlying cause uh, to be tested. But anyway, so that's going to continue to expand. My, my uh, belief from reading the email from Brian is that within a couple of more weeks that he should be able to, again, complement what we're doing with the existing labs here in this uh, city. And he actually has his own lab, and I think it's called, it's called um, Coastal Diagnostics. So Coastal Coast Diagnostics, and they'll be running those tests through Coast Diagnostics. Then some questions about the curfew. Well, tonight is the last night of the curfew, but I would encourage you to please remember that you know, we put a curfew in really to protect you. And so we're hopeful that you'll be very mindful that it's, by lifting the curfew, we're not saying game on and just go back out there and be crazy because we still need to keep the uh, social distancing. We also need to make sure that we don't gather in groups larger than 10. Because if we find that, you know, we will be uh, dispersing groups that are larger than 10. And there also, the governor's order, I think, allows us to uh, find, uh, and to find those groups that are doing that. So please cooperate with us. There's been a, a great deal of, of uh, there's been a great price paid up to this point. We're going into another phase of, of uh, battle against the coronavirus. And if we continue to cooperate with one another, we will make it through this. So in a few minutes, I'll have some live questions that I'll be taking from the media. I'm sure many of you have probably reached out to the media to give them those questions, and so I look forward to answering them. Again, so thank you for everything that you're doing. I would close by saying this, that there's a group called One Voice from Home. One Voice from Home uh, is about a prayer tonight where the group that formed the, um, gosh, it's the, Canop, excuse me, the canopy of prayer uh, organizers have 
uh, form this prayer for tonight, and it's at 7 o'clock p.m. from your own home, praying for whatever's on your heart about how you, your family, our community deals with the coronavirus. So please join with that. Just think about all the voices together in unison in the city of Mobile praying at one time and the impact that that will have. Thank you very much.